ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு என்சிஎஸ் ராதாஸ் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் போர்ட் சிபிஎஸ்சி சப்ஜெக்ட் சயின்ஸ் டாபிக் எக்ஸ்பேன்ஷன் அண்ட் கான்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் எக்ஸ்பேன்ஷன் அண்ட் கான்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் metals or substances such as iron and copper generally expand on heating and contract on cooling when the substances are heated their particles loosen up or spread out and therefore expand the substance on cooling the particles tighten or come closer and therefore the substances contract thus it can be said that expansion and contraction is a reversible change this property is used in various processes let's see some examples of expansion and contraction of materials first one fixing wooden handles on agricultural tools agricultural tools such as hoes and mattocks have a metal ring in two which the wooden handle are attached firmly when the metal ring is heated it expands and its size increases this allows for inserting the handle into the ring on cooling the metal ring contracts and holds the handle firmly the second one fixing metal rims on wooden wheels wooden wheels of a bullock cart usually have a metallic rims attached to the outer rims of the wheels for additional strength this is done using the property of expansion and contraction of metals the metallic rim is slightly smaller in diameter than the wooden wheel on heating the rim expands and easily slides over the wheel on cooling it contracts and fits tightly onto the wheel next expansion and contraction occur in solids liquids and gases the extents of expansion and contraction differs in all the three states on heating gases expand the most followed by liquids and then by solids the opposite happens on cooling cooling facilitates contraction gases contract the most followed by liquids and then by solids let us look at a few applications of expansion and contraction in solids solids can become longer or shorter depending on the temperature most solids expand or contract at different rates at different temperature depending on the type of substance let's see some examples of expansion and contraction in solids first one gaps in railway tracks while la- while laying the railway tracks small gaps are left between the adjacent rail these caps are called the expansion caps this is done to allow the iron rails to expand in hot summers if there are no caps or two small caps between the tracks they would push against each other while expanding during the day time and would contract during the night upon cooling This constant pushing and pulling might result in the weakening and bending of joints between the tracks which can also cause derailment of the trains. Next, rollers in the construction of iron bridges. In summers, the concrete bridges tend to expand. This may cause the bridge to bend. To solve this problem, one end of the bridge is fixed while on the other end some space is left in which roller are placed 
This allows the bridge to expand in summers, thus preventing damage to the bridge. Next, Concrete Road While constructing cement roads or runways at airport, small caps are left between concrete slabs to allow expansion during summers. If these caps are not present, the concrete slabs would crack. Cracking of glass. When boiling water is poured into a glass mug, the glass may crack sometimes. This is due to expansion of glass. When boiling water is poured into the glass, the inner glass surface expands more rapidly as compared to the outer surface, causing uneven expansion and thus leading to the cracking of glass. Next, opening a tightly fixed lid of a bottle. To open a lid tightly fixed on a bottle, the mouth of the bottle is immersed in hot water. The solid lid expands on heating, which helps in the loosening of the lid. Sagging telephone and electric cables. In winters, electric and telephone cables contract. Therefore, these are left a little loose between the poles to prevent them from breaking. The last example, pendulum clock. The metal pendulum of a clock tend to expand in summers and contract in winters. This creates an error in the time shown by the clock. To avoid this problem, the pendulum is made of inverse steel which does not exhibit any expansion and contraction due to change in temperature. Ok children, what did we learn today? We learned about expansion and contraction of materials and their examples. I hope you all understood the topic. To receive our online lessons, press the subscribe button. You will receive the latest updates. Thank you children.